activities. So this project basically is focusing on uh, working with smallholder farmers to be able to produce seed, uh, quality seed that they're able to sell and able to benefit from seed. So we are ensuring that there is seed security by the smallholder farmers. And this project is part of four countries. Uh, this, uh, this includes Malawi, Zambia, Zimbabwe and Swaziland. But from uh, what you have observed here in Malawi, uh, as an organization, are you impressed? Uh, is the research uh, fields well coordinated? Okay, thank you. Um, looking at what the activities have been done in Malawi, uh, at national level, I think uh, the, the country has uh, worked hard to ensure that uh, they harmonize their policies, their laws, their state laws, so that they align with the SADC seed laws. And if you look at the smallholder farmers again, the smallholder farmers are very impressive, they are very motivated, and they're able to produce quality seed, which uh, is certified by the certification authorities, and they're able to produce seed that is meets uh, SADC standards, which can also be exported if there is a bumper harvest. So it's quite a, a good project that has helped smallholder farmers to be able to be mainstreamed into the seed production processes. Do we have those seeds in Malawi market? Uh, I wouldn't know really per se since uh, I'm based in Pretoria, but uh, from my understanding is that all these seeds has been made available to the smallholder farmers. I know that there are other big players in terms of seed companies such as Pana and Seedco, but farmers are able to access the seed. That's what is important for us. We don't want to uh, per se produce another a seed company but want to ensure that farmers have seed that is available at an affordable price that's why the emphasis is on legumes and also on open pollinated varieties which are varieties farmers can grow year after year without losing their strength i'm still not clear on this one are you teaching the farmers to come up with their own seeds or what is it exactly that you're doing uh, farmers are not really coming up with their own seeds but you'll realize that uh, seed companies they are biased towards uh, maize production so most of the seed which is available in the market is maize. But the legumes, the groundnuts and the soyas, they are not available. So, uh, but you see, in terms of nutritional uh, needs, farmers need to grow alternative uh, crops, not just maize. They need to have different crops because you need, you need the protein, not just the carbohydrates. So this is not really a, a separate seed, but farmers are being given an opportunity to grow seed that is not necessarily favored by the commercial players because maybe it's not marketable or they have not yet penetrated different markets. But farmers, as they are able to produce this type of legumes, these legumes are able to assist them to provide not only cash, but also to provide them the proteins which they need. Thank you. Thank you.